Hey, this is Andy, AR Engineering, and I've got the 632 General Motors crate engine here on the engine stand, and I just wanted to go over one specific thing, which is the cam and the crank sensors. So, this engine uses the late model big block timing cover with an integrated 58x, 4x crank and cam sensors for the EFI system. And it's a little bit of a problem if you haven't worked on these before because the sensors do not mate with any of the existing Holly EFI main harnesses. So the cam sensor has the same basic connector body as most of the LS engines and the cam sensor itself is an LS sensor, but it's a late model LS sensor from a six liter motor and it's wired backwards from what the LS sensors that Holly assumes you are using. So you have to be really careful. I'll just get in here close so you can see how it's pinned out. You can see red, black, purple. So if you encounter one of these late model timing covers, you want to make sure that you've got red, black, purple that way. And that's the reverse of how Holly wires most of their LS harnesses. And obviously, if you don't wire it correctly, the engine will never start. Now, the crank sensor is a similar story, just a little different. This sensor here, if you pull the part numbers off of it, decodes to the sensor that General Motors uses on a 4.3 liter V6. And as you can see here, the wiring once again is red, black, purple. But there's a couple problems. One is I haven't found a Holly main harness that has this exact connector on it. This connector is a little different than what they usually use. You can tell it's a three pin. If I get down in here, you might actually be able to see the part number. There's the part number. 125-95-966. So that connector is unique. This harness that I'm using right here is the General Motors harness for the 632 crate motor. So it, of course, is pinned out correctly and it hooks up to, the wires are long enough to hook up to this big block front cover. But the 632 crate harness, I don't believe is available. So unless you buy a crate engine, I'm not sure it's available as a replacement part. And if it is available, I don't know what the price would be. You can get swizzle adapter cables from EFI connection that might connect your existing LS harness to this big block Chevy front cover. But you have to be very, very careful when you do that to make sure that the pinouts are correct. Anyway, hope that's some good information for you. If you're using one of these late model big block Chevy timing covers, you just need to be very, very careful about the pinouts and the connectors since Holly has not yet introduced a wiring harness that directly plugs into the late model big block 58 4X timing cover. Catch you later. Bye.